Previously, we drove from Southern Cross to Exmouth, then spent Christmas Eve and Boxing Day with Beck's family. It was good to stop for four days in Exmouth, seeing all of the reefs and turquoise water. Join us as on this episode we travel from Exmouth up to Carapa. It was a 5 hour and 45 minute journey and 550 kilometres. The landscape was like a desert. It was nice to be back on the move again. Dampier Salt serves construction, automotive, electronic, health and food industries worldwide. We are in Carafa now and we are just going over a river or a lake I guess it's called. There's so much mining over here. It's called the Dampier Salt Lake I think it's that. Yeah, salt mine. Yeah, salt mine. We just went to Kmart and bought another fan because it is it's 36 degrees and it's only, what is it, 4 o'clock? Oh, it's 6 o'clock, okay. I'm way off. Anyways, so it's 36 degrees. We thought we'd need another fan. Yeah, it's been so hot. Last night was like 32 or 33. I'm going to sleep, which is fine, but just with the fan it helps. Yeah, so we're going to go see the Red Dog statue now on the other side of town. Red Dog was something close to us as we own a Kelpie ourselves. It's a story about a little cattle dog that used to roam by itself through the Pilbara. This is a photo from the start of the Red Dog Trail. You can find all the information here about his story. Red Dog had multiple owners. He spent most of his time roaming through the Dampier. Red Dog passed away on November 21st, 1979 aged between seven and eight years old in Karratha, Western Australia. He was then buried in a secret location in Roborn, Western Australia. These are the, all of the salt mines that we were showing you on the way over the bridge. This is just coming down the hill. It goes for miles and miles. It's just dried out salt, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, been up to the Dampier and we had a look at the lookout. Um, there's a couple of parks down there you can sit at and have a drink or whatever, have some food. Yeah, so there's a little like, oh it's not little actually, it's huge. It's a 6.6 kilometer loop of like the Red Dog Trail. So I'll put a photo here. <laughs> Six 
cameras, but we didn't do it because it's still 33 degrees at like 7 o'clock at night. halfway. Yeah, we drove it. Um, it's actually got some really, really nice lookouts, so definitely recommend that if it's not so hot, which apparently it's this weather five months of the year, so check before you come. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go wash the car at the car wash because in Exmouth there wasn't a car wash that was open when we were there, and yeah, not going to do much else tonight, are we? Gonna have KFC for dinner. <laughs> So we stayed at the Discovery Park in Pilbara, which is in Carrara last night. Pretty close to like a little BMX track over there and some nice mountains. It's just a stopover heading up to Broome. And we decided we're gonna go the whole way today, just eight and a half hours. Pretty long drive, but there's a few little things to stop and do along the way. Um, probably stop off by 80 Mile Beach and do a couple of other things. And yeah, then we'll be at Broome tonight. We decided to drive straight through with a little stop off at Port Hedland for Zambreros and to get myself in a Cobra. The Pilbara region is some 17,825,000 hectares. The Aboriginal population of the Pilbara considerably predates by 30 to 40,000 years the European colonisation of, of the region. broken the one hour mark until we get to the caravan park. So we're going to stay at the RAC on Cable Beach. Is that where it is, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to stay there. We're just going to park up our camper for how many nights? Six, six nights. Six nights yeah, about six nights. So, yeah. We're here for New Year's. Sorry, I think Nick was a bit tired today. Look at his face. Anyway, back to getting to Broome. Hopefully. I think <laughs> weather storms moved. Yeah, so we're hoping that the cyclone doesn't come up this way. But we'll see how it goes and we're an hour away. Thanks for watching guys. Next week tune in as we go up to Bard Creek and Willy Creek. Check out the Pearl Farm and check out all there is to see up the peninsula. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more.